Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. In under 8 minutes video, master the art of connecting Twitter to a MetaMask. The Consist tutorial provides a step-by-step -step process allowing you to effortlessly bridge your Twitter account with MetaMask for enhanced cryptocurrency and blockchain interactions. So guys, let's get started. So before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you get the full information. So the first thing guys that I will need you to do is to actually accuse and have an account on MetaMask or have the wallet existing in your PC. So how can we do that? It is basically by opening your Google Chrome or your browser and search for MetaMask which is simply just like that. Then click on the first link that will appear to you. And after that, simply click on download for Chrome and it will take you to this page where you can download it. So for me, I have already installed it. That's why I have removed and set off and install. Then once you go to your account, it will be opened like that. So for me, I will simply just create a new account. So I will just create a new one here. Um, for example, like that, I'm going to create a new one by removing it. And then reopen it so just I can show you how to actually create it. So let me just do that. Add extension. And there we go. So now we have it installed. It will normally be in this uh, area. So let me just go to extensions. Yep, here we go. And here we can create our MetaMask account. So here we should simply just agree, create a new wallet, click on agree again, and here simply give it a password. So the password has to be pretty simple, nothing complicated at all. Here we go. And there we go. Understand, and then create wallets. We can simply click here to skip the uh, code and then click on next, next and done. And here we go. So now we are on MetaMask wallet. So here, if you went to the connected sites or you went to anything, you will find like here the settings, your account detail, which is basically your wallet and your private key in case you were interested on in having your private key. Uh, to open your MetaMask, you will find it here on your extension. Uh, it's not really that complicated to find. So simply just click on it and it's going to be here. Now for the most important thing, which is basically on how we can connect like our MetaMask to our Twitter, which is basically a weird thing when we talk about it for the first time, but it is not very complicated. So the first thing is, so here I am on another like profile on my browser. I need to open my Twitter account in order to actually connect it. So let's go to Twitter. Here we go. Uh, so let's click here. Click on X so we can go to Twitter. Now, as you know, Twitter uh, has this new function which is the Twitter Blue. Uh, no update email, yes, that's correct. So, here, premium. If I want to premium here, as you can see, so here we have the premium uh, which is used to call be called uh, like Twitter Blue. So, here we find uh, two options premium or verified organization. For me, I just want to be in the premium and here as you can see what are we going to get and how we are going to actually use this twitter or the metamask in twitter exactly well basically here this is what you are going to get by getting this twitter premium plus so you can get all of these uh, things from uh, edit post, longer post, and do videos, uh, download, uh, explore, like it gets paid to post, like that, for example. And in the end, you will be able to actually download or upload an NFT image. Yes, this is something that you can actually do on Twitter nowadays. So you can literally go to your profile, and instead of like, uh, like, let me just edit the profile picture. And here, as you can see, they will allow me to just go and open like uh, my PC and go to my documents and upload an image. But now, since you are going to get the premium, you are actually going to get like an NFT image option, which you will be allowed to insert in Twitter using your MetaMask. So, for example, what are the benefits of having it is basically, let's go to this page. So, this image, I can simply just click on it. And simply just download it, simple as that. 
I can download it. But for the NFT that you are going to have, it will be impossible for the people to actually download it. At the same time, it will be impossible for any other person to actually reuse it in their Twitter account. So it's gonna be only for you and made for you, so no one can copy it from you. This is the benefit of actually connecting Twitter with MetaMask in 2024. So this is a very important thing to put in mind, uh, like uh, the NFTs, if you have like NFT that you bought with your money, you have a value in it, like so let's say that you have bought like NFT with like $2,000, you don't really want others to actually steal it from you and at the same time you would really want to showcase it nowadays, you want people to see it, you want uh, to like you want to just flex with it. That is why MetaMask in Twitter connection is something like a real thing. And yeah guys, that was basically it for today's video. Let's do a quick recap so you can understand fully the process of connecting Twitter with MetaMask. So the first thing, as we said, we have to create an account on MetaMask by going to MetaMask on your browser and installing it from the Chrome Web Store, which is the extensions. The second thing is to create your account on MetaMask, which is very easy, very simple and nothing complicated about it at all then you have to own a twitter account which is normally you do have with uh, between your hands and finally make sure to get the premium version of twitter which is basically the twitter blue as we used to know it for what it will give you is basically all of these very very good features and of course the one that we are going to use is the nft uh, picture that they will basically have it for you or cover it for you uh, so no one can steal it from you and at the same time you can upload it and uh, yeah nobody can actually reuse it in the future or steal it from your library so that was basically it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial